lions are better hunters at night than they are at day. Ah. I've watched the lions before going home for about an hour herding the impala and the zebra from one end of a of a of a small savanna area to the other end, back and forth. Yeah. Back and forth the whole time. And you know they were gonna attack at night. They were just oh. wearing them down and deciding which one to uh, oh. to attack. There was two lions on each side. Yeah. Two lions on each side of the back and forth the they were going. Anyway, what do we have here? It's a big male lion. It's a lion. Yeah, it's a big male. You can see it? Yeah, I can see it. Let's uh let's uh, let these people go. Yeah. Oh he's going, he's going. Oh okay. Why don't we pull up in front? In front of this guy. Yeah. Get up in front of him. No, get back up and then pull up in front of him. Okay. Let's see if we can get a good. I'm trying to see which lion that is. Oh, you know them by the. Well, uh, people give look. them names, but sometimes I prefer not to know the names <laughs> yeah. because it's more wild that way. Yeah. The lions don't know our names, so why should we name them? Ah, yeah. Can you move up just a little bit more? Okay, that's good. That's perfect. Yeah. Take your camera. Grab my camera. Yeah, can't hold oh, your phone. Oh, my phone. He's not looking. He's not looking at us. He's looking away. He's probably going to go to sleep. Uh, so that's what he does when he wants to go to sleep. Well, they sleep more in the day than they do. Well, they sleep a lot. Lions sleep many hours a day. Yeah. They love their naps. Yeah. <laughs> So you asked me why you talked about the cameras, right? Yeah. Why I'm only Nikon. Yeah. Well, with digital, I'm only Nikon. Okay. But um, I used to use um, Leicas, mm -hmm. Hasselblads. Um, ah, yeah. Mamiya's. Yeah. One of my favorite cameras was the Mamiya 7 II. It was a rangefinder, just like the like the Leica, but but yeah. a two and a quarter yeah. body. Um, Mamiya was great. I love those Mamiya cameras. Yeah. So this is still 500. And I used to also, this is a 502, but that's an F4.0 and this is an F5.6. Ah, okay. So that, so, so and this is also, uh, this has got a different type of glass than the other one. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I think the other one is slightly, uh, sharp. I don't know if I want to say sharper. It's but kind it's of sharper more, because of more contrast, but this is still an incredibly sharp yeah. 500 millimeter. Yeah. And they, I'm also shooting with a, uh, either, I think I have a 16 to 35 on another bat body and a 70 to 200. Yeah. They're trying to get its attention. I know, they're not supposed to do that. Yeah. And they're kids. <laughs> yeah. He's standing. You got the shot? Yeah, I got the shot. Here it is. Let's see. Ta-da. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it on there. You share with me the photos. I share with you the photo. Yeah, he's going to go to sleep for a while. Yeah. There's no doubt about that. So he is a leader of a pride? Um, or he's just alone? I've seen this lion in, um, oh, down in Athi Basin. Mm -hmm. And he does have a name. Um, it starts with an O, and I can't remember it. Yeah. Um, I think that's the one. How do you tell? Um, how do you tell lions? You look at their uh, whisker spots, and there's two lines of whisker spots that you use to identify. And each each whisker spot, uh, the whisker spots on individual lions are all different. So, but you oh. have to. So you. That's the, that's the most reliable way of telling it, a lion. But they also have scratch marks from fights, torn ears from fights, uh, and uh, different colorations. So some lions have red manes, some lions have black manes, um, some lions have tan manes. So that's, that's the males, of course. Yeah. And... Uh, you can tell by their size too, but usually those are the those are the key aspects. Markings on their uh, on their uh, fur, certain fur patterns might be different on some lions than others. But on the whole, 
the most reliable source are the um, whisker markings. See, yeah. that's how I, that's how my wife recognizes me by my whisker markings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, I'm fascinated at how he's the boss, like... He is the boss. Yeah, like, he's not worried. You know, other animals can't just sleep like that. You know? Like, an impala can't just sleep like that. Well, that's why, they, <laughs> that's why most impalas are in groups. We haven't seen any impalas today, which is yeah, unusual. There's yeah. tons of, there are tons of impalas here. Yeah. And, um, you know, we've got uh, a, lot of, a lot of herds, some bachelor herds. Mm. Like he's an apex predator. He is he, the apex predator in this park. <laughs> this park. So he knows no one can do anything. He's the African apex predator. Yeah. Then you've got leopards and cheetahs. Yeah. But lions eat cheetahs, right? Yeah, right? Lions will kill other... Lions will kill cheetahs and leopards if they can. Mm. Because they look at them as a competitive threat oh. to their existence. Yeah. yeah. They don't know that they're, when a lion kills a cheetah, it doesn't know it's killing another endangered species. It doesn't know. It doesn't know that he's in danger or she's in danger. Yeah. Right? They're just... Um, they're just doing what they were made to do. Yeah. What they were born to do. Um, females hunt more than the males. Females do hunt more than the males. In fact, the males may just watch the females hunt. Remember, they, the females often hunt in groups, as do males, yeah. young males particularly. Um, they'll, they'll hunt in groups and they'll, they'll push their prey towards other lions. One, one gr group of lions may go, may go after, a, um, let's say, a buffalo this way and push it that way while other lions are hiding. So they're very smart in how they hunt, and they're the only um, they're the only cat that hunts in the groups. They only live to be fifteen years in the wild. Oh, they don't have a very long lifespan, do they? Oh, just like a house cat. House cats can live to be. I had a house cat that lived to be twenty three. Wow, and he was a crazy cat. Too. And I think <laughs> it was his orneriness that allowed him to live so long. You know, for long, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're talking about female lions hunting. What about female lions hunting? Yeah. Uh, they hunt more than the males. But... Yeah, I'm sorry. Yes, yeah. female lions do hunt more than the males. Yeah. Um, but the males will be the first to eat in the pride. Uh, wait, so the female will hunt it down and then will, the male will come and fuss it? Yes, that's the law. <laughs> that's the law of the jungle, <laughs> the law of the savanna. <laughs> the, male, the male lions rules. And then, Sorry, ladies. <laughs> and and until he's full, then everyone else can eat. He can eat, and he will let the young of his pride eat. That's the uh, funny thing. I've seen them. The, the young will come up, and he. Oh, they and, will eat together. Well, the young will grab a few bites here and there. Yeah, yeah, but but I've the females never, will wait. The females will wait. If they don't wait, they get swatted. Uh, <laughs> and you know. <sighs> Yeah. Since he's much larger than the females. Yeah, he, he's capable. He's capable. Now we did have we did have a one lion here named Siracoy who died a while back last year, I believe, or was it the year before? And Siracoy was able I watched Siracoy take down the buffalo by himself. Mm -hmm. A lion that can take down the buffalo by himself is an exceptionally strong lion. Yeah. Doesn't doesn't happen that often. Yeah. So his primary role is obviously is protecting the pride. His primary roles are protecting the pride and um, making more babies. <laughs> okay. <laughs> those are, those are his primary yeah, roles. Passing on the genes. And he will kill babies of another. He will kill babies of another, of another pride. Yeah. And so he, and he, he could and have... Sometimes lions become loners. Yeah, and they, they get kicked. They get kicked out of the pride, but our prides aren't as big here as they are in uh, the let's say Mara. the Mara or like Hippia. We don't have prides of twenty five. Yeah, we have one, twelve, thirteen, yeah. fourteen. And a male can be can be leader of multiple prides. No, okay. Not usually, though, 
And that usually they can go from pride to pride. If they get kicked out of one pride, they'll look for another pride. And can the females gang up on the male? Like if oh yeah, sure. The females can gang up on the males, and the females are the females are quite strong as well. Yeah. I mean, yes, I've seen the females not like a male. They'll kick the males out. They'll kick out a male that they don't like, or they'll kick out a young. They might kick out a young sub adult male as it's uh, almost mature. Yeah. Go yeah. find your own family. Now. It's <laughs> yeah. time for you to find your own yeah, family. Yeah. Yeah. You're 18 now. Yeah. You're, right. <laughs> you're an adult. Right. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching that highlight video. If you want to watch the full conversation that we had on the game drive, uh, click here. I'm going to put it here. Don't forget to like the video, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, or even share with anyone who would be interested in this conversation. Um, it helps my channel and it helps me make more videos like this. Asante. Bye.